Okay, I just ran the setup uh, for the fake third driver that lets you do mixed reality with just a regular old, any old person can do mixed reality. Um, someone asked that they don't know how to get past the start screen. Um, the other controller should be a pointer that lets you hit the start. If you get too close, there's a square that goes away. So you got to get the controller at the right spot. You'll see a, a square, and then you can hit start. So like I said, you don't want to turn on the third driver yet, the third controller driver, until you set this up, I guess. Um, so now I see uh, these lines that show where the, um, the camera should be and where it's pointing at and stuff. So anytime I want to change it, I just uh, hit the grip buttons and the camera changes and now everything is terrible and messed up and you have no idea where I am. Um, that's okay. I am going to do a new position and try to do some new fixed reality. So hold on a second while I change camera. Oh boy. Let's see what the floor looks like. Isn't that great? You can see my, um, my parts. All right. Nice view of my ceiling fan. I'll crop that out later, maybe. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so now I got a new camera position, uh, and I'm now going to try to set up the camera for it. So again, I push the two grip buttons of where I think the camera is going to be. The camera's not here, so I'm just going to put the camera right on top of my control camera, my controller right on top of my camera, and press. And now, if I look at the thing, you can see the controllers are now kind of lined up to the camera. I don't have to do much adjustments, but just in case, um, if you want to, you could look at the screen here. Let's just, you can look at my first person view. So I'm going to look at the screen here and adjust, I don't know, it seemed like it was too low, so I'll move it up. Once again, I get far away enough to see that white square, I move it up. And maybe the FOV was different, but mine, I'm going to leave that the same. Uh, rotation, let's rotate it up a bit, I guess. And then take off my headset and look and compare. Oh, it's still off. I'm just going to wing it and move my camera down to match the controllers a bit and see what happens. Yep, looks better. Let's try it again, move it a little bit. And then, um, you know, spend like an hour or two trying to get these all lined up. Um, we can't see the lighthouses. So uh, then you just keep playing with it. And then you're like, oh, let me just reset it again and do it all over again. Just hit the grip buttons and uh, try to figure out a way for the camera and the config file to line up the controllers. So here it looks like maybe it's not zoomed in enough. So I just slide the camera forward a bit and see it's it's almost a little bit more lined up. Yep, there you go. If the lighthouse wasn't, oh, I'm holding the top of the controller so you can't see it. Alright, so this is kind of lined up. Maybe I'll just try this out, crop out the bad parts of my screen where you see my bookshelf, and try to do some VR like this. And I'm going to try cat lateral damage in a second. So check that out. <laughs> 